Beats, boy. <laughs> so this fight is officially confirmed. Dylan White will be facing Oscar Rivas on the 20th of July at O2 Arena. Nothing else confirmed for the card yet, but not a bad fight. I'm not saying it's a great fight. But it's a it's a decent fight. Now, for those of you who don't know who Oscar Rivas is, he's in the rankings in the top ten of every governing body. His lowest ranking is ten with the WBC. He's five or six with two governing bodies, and I think he's seventh with the WBA or something like that. All because of his win over Bryant Jennings. He stopped him in the last round. Which wasn't a bad fight as well. Now, White versus Rivas, I think, is going to be a pretty one sided battle, to be honest. I think Dillian White's going to smoke this guy. Um, I think it's going to possibly go the distance, though. Rivas is pretty tough. He's not the biggest heavyweight, he's only six foot. So that's what I think is going to be the big problem for him. Um, he has some issues sometimes with getting inside on bigger fighters. We saw it against um, Brian Jennings, who isn't a huge heavyweight as it is. But, um, you know, I think Brian Jennings is actually probably a better technical boxer than Dillian White. However, I don't think he has enough power or didn't have enough power to keep Rivas out and not enough movement. Now, Dillian White looks very off balance a lot of the time, but he has a decent jab and he, he could keep the fight long and do very well, go the distance. He could try and get a spectacular knockout. We know Dillian White has a pretty good inside game as well. He's not afraid to get a bit dirty. However, I think that might suit Rivas a bit better. It would give him more of an opportunity to do well. So it would serve Dillian White best to keep the fight long. Maybe try and take Rivas out later on in the fight. But we'll have to wait and see. Rivas against Brian Jennings looked to gas through the middle of the fight somewhat. Um, I think he probably had a little bit much weight on trying to increase his power possibly but he seemed to get a second win later on in the fight it was a fairly low volume fight though so a fight against Dillian White I'm not sure how it's going to go uh, we saw Dillian White against Derek Shazora try and fight it long for the most of the fight um, and he was losing that fight until the knockout against Shazora but we've seen Dillian White with higher volume fights gas out a bit at the same time. So it could be an interesting matchup. Um, Oscar Rivas has also got a pretty decent amateur pedigree. He beat Kurat Pulev in the amateurs. So it gives you an idea he can pull it out of the hat sometimes. I don't think there's a high possibility that he'll beat White, but... You never know. It's heavyweight boxing. Oscar Rivas can bang. I still think it's a pretty low percentage that he can pull off this win. But um, yeah, it's, it's not a fight I'm itching to see. But got to give Dillian White some credit here. He's taking on an unbeaten fighter who's ranked across the board inside the top 10. So it's the kind of fight that he should be in. Now, we were all hoping that we might see Dillian White take on Luis Ortiz. Uh, we were waiting on the WBC to make some kind of um, announcement whether it would be a final eliminator or not if it was made. Still haven't heard a goddamn thing. And I think with the WBC dragging the chain on that decision, Dylan White just decided to move on and take on a 
legit top 10 contender. Um, I don't think it's any kind of duck. I'm sure some people are going to come out and say that Dillian White's ducked Ortiz again. But um, from the WBC's point of view, I can understand. They've got a mandatory challenger fighting their champion on the 18th of May. And a new mandatory after that fight doesn't have to be fought for at least 12 months. So there's no hurry for them to establish another mandatory in that governing body at this stage. Unfortunately for Dillian White. So it is what it is. Um, Pretty decent fight. I'm looking forward to what's going to be on the rest of the card. There's one other heavyweight that's going to be on that card debuting. I can't say who it is or anything just yet, but um, when it gets announced, there'll be a lot to talk about with this heavyweight. So stay tuned and we'll see what happens with the rest of the card. Who's going to be on it? I imagine Derek Shazora will probably be on the card fighting possibly Joseph Parker. We will see. Um, I'm guessing maybe Dave Allen will probably be on that card as well. Possibly fighting David Price. We will see. Um, Yeah. Yeah. A bit to look forward to at that time of year, you know, May, June, July, there's got some pretty good fights coming up, so hope you've enjoyed the video, let us know what you think of the fight between Revis and Dillian White, and we'll get some conversation going, so don't forget to give me the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one, Big Boys Boxing, we out, see you. Zone Beats, boy.